In this video, I'm going to explain why a 48-inch OLED TV can be more expensive than a 55-inch one. Hello everyone, Vincent Thiel from HDTV Test here. Earlier this week, I discovered that the prices for the 55-inch LG CX or C10 OLED has dropped in the UK to below that of the 48-inch CX or C10. Now, if you look at this website here, the price for the 55-inch LG CX or C10 is around 1400 quid, whereas the price for the 48-inch CX or C10 remains unmoved at 1500 quid, which is the price since launch. Now, how has this happened? I think if you have paid attention to one of my previous videos, I briefly mentioned that the 48-inch panels are cut from the same mother glass as the 77 inch panels which is why the number of 48 inch panels out there is actually fairly low relative to the 55 inch ones which is why the prices will remain fairly static without much discount for the foreseeable future but in this video i want to really try and hone in and explain what sort of mother glass size they are using and how they are cut contributing to this situation here so again i'm going to try and use the samsung note 10 plus to illustrate my point and i think some of you have asked me to use a whiteboard but the fact is you know my studio my test room is not really that big and there are just TVs everywhere and calibration equipment on the floor, TVs on the floor. So if I put a whiteboard here, I don't even know where to put it and it will just affect the whole workflow of my video production process. So for the foreseeable future, I'll be using this Note 10 Plus if you can actually bear with me. So let me just fire up this Note 10 Plus. So let's start with the manufacturer that produces all these OLED TV panels currently on the market today. So it would be LG Display. And LG Display has two OLED fabs currently, one in Paju and the other one in Guangzhou, China. So both of them are 8.5G fabs. So let's just write Paju and write Guangzhou. Right? So what does 8.5G mean? It means the size of the substrate. So if I can just erase all of these. So let's start by writing 8.5G or 8.5 generation. Now 8.5 generation generally refers to the size of the substrate, the mother glass that is being used to be cut into all these different sizes of OLED panels. So an 8.5G mother glass will have a size of around 2500 times 2200 millimeters. So 2500 millimeters and then 2200 millimeters. Now, before LG Display actually adopted multi-model glass technology, uh, multi-model glass means that the glass can be cut into different sizes. If you don't use multi-model glass technology, what this means is that you have to cut the same size panel out of each mother glass. So before LG Display implemented multi-model glass technology or MMG technology at their Guangzhou factory, they have to cut the same size of OLED panel from each mother glass. So let's say if you want to cut 55 inch screens, you can divide this mother glass into six pieces, right? So you can have six pieces of 55 inch screen and the utilization is actually quite high. You do not throw away too much material. I think the general efficiency in terms of the portion of the mother glass use is around 91%. Okay, but let's say if we erase this and then we erase 91% as well and then we'll start drawing again right but if you wanted to cut let's say 65 inch panels you can only cut three panels out of it so the way they would do it is you know they would actually do it like this and then 
365 inch panels. Okay, and the utilization rate would be around 64%, which is quite low if you ask me. So they are actually discarding quite a lot of these mother glass that is unused, and therefore, initially the prices of 65 inch panels is still quite high relative to 55 inch panels. And then later on, they introduced 77 inch panels, and to cut 77 inch panels from this 8.5G mother glass, what they had to do is to cut it in this fashion. Right, so can, they can only produce two panels out of each mother glass, two 77 inch panels out of each mother glass, which again is <laughs> going to be extremely expensive, which is why the prices of the initial 77 inch OLEDs are astronomical. I think maybe eight, nine thousand pounds, I believe. And then what happened was that LG Display started adopting multi-model glass technology at their Guangzhou plant. So with the multi-model glass technology, what they can actually do is, in addition to two 77-inch panels, they can actually cut two 48-inch panels there, which is where all these 48-inch OLEDs from, let's say, LG Electronics from Sony in terms of their A9 or A9S OLED and also the Philips 48 inch 95 will come from. But as you can probably tell, the number of 48 inch panels that LG Display can produce is dependent upon the number of 77 inch panels because its mother glass can only be cut into 77 inch and 48 inch panels to each for the highest utilization rate to avoid waste and that is the reason why the 48 inch panel prices are unlikely to come down anytime soon now looking towards the future let's talk about 10.5g and what it means is that the mother glass is of an even larger size so if i can draw a mother glass and then the length will be 33 70 millimeters times 29.40 millimeters. So this 10.5G mother glass will allow for eight 65 inch panels to be cut, which is a massive improvement over the three 65 inch panels that can be cut from an 8.5G substrate with substantial amount of mother glass lost whereas this utilization rate will be extremely high if you use a 10.5g mother glass to cut eight 65 inch panels so 65 inch and it was initially thought that this would bring about a significantly lower price but the thing is that I think, you know, with COVID-19, with the pandemic and with the whole economy of the world grinding down slowly to a halt, I think initially LG Display had plans to implement or build a 10.5G factory in Paju in 2023, but the plan has been shelved indefinitely. So we're talking maybe even 2025 or 2026, if that even happens, you know, if LG Display is still solvent, is still operating by then. But that's the appeal of 10.5G, and 10.5G is used a lot by the LCD manufacturers, especially in China, which is why they can flood the market with 65 inch, 75 inch, or even larger screen sizes at a cheaper price than OLED because LG Display is limited by their 8.5G fab. And even though they have actually implemented multi modal glass technology, MMG, in their Guangzhou plant, that would only help the production of the 40 inch panel and also the 77 inch panels. The, in terms of the utilization rate of the 55 inch panels, it is almost, you know, 
fully utilized, 91% utilization, which is very good. But it doesn't actually help the 65 inch panels at all, which is why they wanted to go for 10.5G in terms of upgrading their equipment and fab. But, you know, the pandemic and just with everything happening around the world has put a stop to that. And hopefully that will give you some understanding of why the 48 inch panels are so scarce and not many OLED manufacturers actually take LG display up on it because the supply is really quite low considering that they have to be cut from the same mother glass as the 77 inch panels and this is one instance where a smaller item can become more expensive just like off the top of my head, what I can think of was like say mobile phone from years ago. The smaller your mobile phone is, the more expensive it is. Or let's say because I do a lot of traveling and I do a lot of filming while traveling, I think a tripod, a travel tripod that is smaller and lighter carbon fiber is going to be more expensive than a bulky one. So those are two things off the top of my head that I can think of that when smaller are more expensive. I don't know whether you can think of anything, just like leave your suggestion. You know, maybe you have some ingenious ideas, ingenious suggestions that I haven't actually thought of. But I hope you found this video useful. I don't know whether this sort of explainer video is actually of interest to you, but I just thought that because I saw that the prices of the 55 inch LG C10 or CX has dropped below the price of the 48 inch CX that I thought that I would do a quick explanation of 8.5G versus 10.5G and multimodal glass and also how the panels are cut to give you a better understanding of how OLED TVs are produced. If you'd like to watch some of our other videos discussing next-gen TV technology such as mini LED, micro LED, QD OLED and stuff, I have actually put a playlist here if you like to click on that and watch some videos and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.